So when we think about grazing cows on crops in winter, we've got a high biomass, we've got lots of dry matter standing there, and we stock cows at a very high rate. So there's a lot of energy going onto the soil which can create uh, damage to it. And that combined with the wetness can be a real disaster actually. What happens as a result of that is that the ability of the soil to infiltrate water and allow water to move through it, is that process is prevented because of the damage, right? So there's only one place for that water to go. It's really across the surface. And that's a problem. Because as it goes across the surface of the soil, there's no amelioration of the nutrients and sediment that it's carrying. So those contaminants move down into the gully. And that's where they'll sit. We were looking at coming up with a better way to, to graze winter grazing paddocks. So we came up with a strategic grazing, which was um, which was a sort of a range of um, a range of things that we could test, that we could um, get farmers to implement. So they had to be sort of low cost and easy to implement. So, so what we thought of is, well, if you start grazing at the top of the paddock and work your way down, you, you're, you're keeping as far away as you can from from gully areas and that type of thing. So that was our first thing we did: start grazing at the top. Uh, of the paddock and move downwards, so you, you're essentially starting with a big buffer area and getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Um, the second thing was to keep the animals out of the critical source area, which is the gully area, little gully area, little damp areas, little wet areas, where you'll get that uh, the combination of um, overland flow running and, and also um, uh, the, the soil being stirred up, and so you, you can have mobilisation of those things. Uh, and the third part was to have regular back fencing. So uh, as the animals, as the brakes are moving along, uh, we're looking to, uh, looking to move, move a back fence behind them to stop, them, stop the animals getting back into the area that they've already been walking on and <coughs> re remobilizing the sediments and nutrients. We noticed that, yeah, pretty, pretty clearly, once we put our strategic grazing practices in place compared to the standard grazing practices, yeah, it was, it was quite a marked difference. Uh, visually, you could, you could see the difference of the, the animals and the paddock itself, so it was, you know, a lot more intact. And then when, you, when I was often down there taking a lot of samples, so you could actually see the difference between the samples. Um, really quite clean uh, water coming out of the uh, strategic grazing compared to the pretty dirty looking stuff that was coming out of the uh, standard graze treatment. Altogether, it's meant that we've had probably the most rapid uptake of the science uh, that certainly I've been involved with. Um, farmers have latched on pretty quickly and they've appreciated that what we've recommended has been based on good science, practical, low-cost solutions.